Hello everybody, my name is Ellie and welcome back to some more Hush Hush. It's th that time this recording is a little later than I expect that I wanted to record. Um, yeah, that's just the intro that I wanted to give. Uh, last time was quite the adventure. <laughs> but anyways, let's get back into this. It's, uh, oh, hold on. I'm doing this again, because, uh, my soul depends on it, so... Let's head to the arcade. Oh shit, what did I say? Driving into the arcade, a quick search through the majority of the savage room confirms Mio is nowhere to be seen, of course. Because uh, with what happened uh, <laughs> last episode, you assume she's either on break or maybe called in sick. Either way, you're a little disappointed. You do, however, overhear two people talking about her as you're searching. You decide to listen to what they're saying. It's a guy and a girl playing separate arcades, but making snarky comments back and forth. You're ridiculous. Mio isn't into chicks. And even if she was, there's no way she goes for a stunted little troll like you. You have no chance. The guy is glowering at the girl, but the girl maintains a bored expression as she plays. There is nothing so beta as a guy who uses expressions like into chicks and no chance. Damn. You're a pathetic specimen, and Mio is top tier. Girls got options. And I know for sure she swings both ways. She always treats me extra nice when I wear this one little skirt she likes. Well, that's cool to know. Fuck. Just because Mio is nicer to you when you have your ass out doesn't mean she's into you. She's nice to everyone. You're not special. That goes both ways, though, doesn't it? You are the least special person I've ever met. So, maybe you're a little right about that. Wink. Screw you. The two continue to bicker and neither of them are backing down. That's when you notice that they also appear to be competing. The two games are linked, and you can see they're locked into a competitive round of Bust a Glove. You also notice that the power cables for the cabinets are hidden from their view. I lost track. <laughs> Unplug the girl's game. Leave them both alone. Unplug the guy's game. Yay, you inconspicuously reach over and unplug the guy's game. <laughs> he instantly explodes in anger. What the hell? What the fuck just happened? Breaker blown. Or you jarred something loose. Bullshit, you probably hacked the cabinet like you always do. I wouldn't waste my talents on something as mundane as beating you at Bust a Glove. Now pay up. After spraying more and hitting the cabinet, finally, the guy finally relents. He reaches his new jacket and hands the girl a wad of pills. Thanks. Let me know when you want a rematch. The girl shoves some money in her pockets and saunters away as though nothing happened. The guy swarms out. Ooh, what a sore loser. As the girl passes by you without looking in your direction, she tosses some of the cash down beside you, then she leaves. One thousand bucks! You grab the cash at Akasa and count it up. Jesus Christ, you can't read. She tosses you one grand. You pocket the cash and leave before anyone grows suspicious. Cool. Oh. What do you want? That's just it's random. I saw a bunch of today. Look at you. Oh, okay. Please. I don't think that's wrong. My pine guns are legit. I was going to take a picture, but a squirrel started chasing me, and, this, and, it, and it was this whole thing. Anyway, random. Feel free to agree. It's just I'll bug you about hanging out again soon. Take care. Well, thank you, Vero. What do you want? Ah. I'm doing fine. Sorry, Dave was a lot of fun. <sighs> I mean, I had a lot of fun. I really, really hope you had fun too. But yeah. I hope you had fun too. I realized this morning that I came along strong with you 
and you were pretty generous with me, so yeah, thanks, thanks for a lot. That was kind of incredible. And I hope we can do that again sometime. I mean, like date, I mean, yeah, this stuff would be great to buy him a date, like talking and stuff too. Okay, this is going off the this is going a bit off the rails. I just wanted to tell you I enjoyed all the things and I hope to see you again. Talk to you soon. Okay. Okay. Let's stop by the bakery. Hey, sugar. Why, you're just in time. I just took the cinnamon buns out of the oven so they are as warm and sweet as a soft kiss. That's cool. And don't you hit me with the word diet or you'll crush my little heart. As always, let me know if anything catches your eye. Nothing really. Oh boy. <laughs> Eli! Sonic, get over here. Let's go. Eli! Alright, at the park, it only takes me a moment to spot Eli's magic rainbow hair across the, from across the parking lot. It only takes a moment for Eli to spot. To spot, to spot you in turn, who quickly raises and rushes over. Hey, babe! How are you this fine and glorious day? Come here! Kiss, kiss! Love, love! I was so excited to hear from you. I had planned to be sort of bored today, neat chips until I got a tummy ache, so this is infinitely better. All right, that's good enough. So, what's on your mind? Where shall we frolic and make our innuendos amongst the adoring public? Oh boy, we're going that route? If it were up to me, and it likely is, I wouldn't mind a little roll in the park, followed by a roll out of the park to places unknown, followed by a roll of an entirely different nature, assuming everything goes my way. Your way? It should go my way. <laughs> Peachy keen jelly bean? Peachy keen jelly bean. Walking around places is tight. I knew you would see it my way. Because I can see the future. I'm magical as hell. Are you? Really? <laughs> so how are you enjoying Sabrosa so far? Has it gotten its long, boring tentacles into you yet? I mean boring like not entertaining, not the good kind. Oh, any choice? Oh, okay. Everyone in town is super nice and does that aren't are really obvious about it. There are a lot of attractive people in this town. It's like the setting of a TV show or something. Things start off with up and not, but, but are just not becoming interesting. Oh gosh, isn't that the truth? I hate starting out slow. I say get the sex out of the way first and then find out if you don't like the way they chew or brush their teeth. That's true. I mean, if you go through all the trouble first, what if the sex is bad? Towns are just like that. Okay. Well, I'm tickled pink to have someone so, so adorable to cling awkwardly to. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm still hoping you'll crack Euro's outer shell and get to her nutty center. But we can fumble around in the dark for a bit until then. I've got my red seal in fumbling. I could do it with one hand tied behind my back. <laughs> Promise? <laughs> Shut up. You're inappropriate. There's the face, the face of all the memes. We gotta... People, people who play this game had to fucking meme this face. I, I, I'm just gonna have to say that. Honestly, the summer tourist rush hasn't been delivering much the last few years. In terms of intrigue and desire. There used to be a lot more parties on the beach and people throwing up outside the clubs late at night. Hmm. I've lived here my whole life. And there was a time no one got any sleep because of all the loud music and festivals happening all the time. Hmm. <sighs> Alas, I guess nothing lasts forever. Nope. But anyway, I want to know what's going on here, in this area that I'm pointing at. You. Who are you? What makes you tick? What's your favorite dish? Favorite dish? You couldn't cook it. Yeah, you'd have to order from Zanzibar. What, do I have to jump all the way to the Halo universe now? Like, what the fuck? Oh, yes, yes, yes! A 10D fan in my midst who knows the lyrics to one of my favorite songs! I don't know that song. You just got put on a list, sweetie. 
It's an exclusive list that has my name on the top of it. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Before this date goes any further, I have a confession to make. Hmm? I like your butt. Okay. <laughs> but, darling, those shorts are not doing a thing for you. Look at them. They're like what happens when you make clothing out of old curtains. And the material remembers it needs to hang straight down and block the view. What? Are you saying that you want to see my butt? Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> but thank you. You must come into the store and let me dress you. And undress you. In the professional way. Maybe the sexy way. I don't know. I'm a bit all over the place here. Please promise me that you'll drop by the store and let me have my way with you. And by that, I mean your butt. And by that, I mean your shorts. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Maybe if you're good. Damn. Ooh, now isn't that an interesting response? It suggests, quite unjustifiably, mind you, that there is a chance that I won't be good. And let me assure you that that is just not a possibility on the table. But we'll play it your way. I'll show you just how good I can be. Oh. Hmm. So, I have a penis, in case you weren't aware. Penis? <laughs> Normally, I don't tend to interject that one on a first date, but I'm liking you a lot, and I think there's potential here that I want to explore. Hmm. And, as I always say, I'm not interested in what's in your pants, unless I want to get in them. I'm not saying this was obvious or not, darling. I just want to make sure you're an informed and consenting teammate. Cool. Thanks, cool. Not as cool as booze, but cross. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Thank you! Ugh! I think it's nature's greatest cruelty that everyone isn't walking around with a banging pair of kinetic sandbags. I saved before this, so I'll be okay. I'm glad you think so, though. I tend to take it with me wherever I go. I just can't leave home without it. I imagine you must have a couple questions, though. Ask away! I am the Book of Eli, and you can study me. Scholarship is sexy. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, are you a girl? A guy? Do you have a preferred pronoun? You're absolutely devastatingly adorable when you're trying to be respectful and non-judgmental. To be honest, I'm Eli. Sometimes I like to slim down, wear dresses, feel pretty while I'm doing my best mermaid impression at the beach. Hmm. <laughs> Sometimes I hit the gym, stuff a sock in my drawers, and try to lure in the ladies. Bruh. <laughs> I like boxer briefs and lacy thigh straps. I like being top, bottom, middle, spectator. I like kissing and hugging and biting and snuggling. I like it all. So, I'm kind of a new Eli every day. You just so happen to have met Eli in a pretty dress phase. Next week, it might be cardigans and cologne. Cardigans and cologne, okay. But I'm always looking for a good time, so just call me whatever you like. As long as it's nice and you buy me pretty things. Oh god, my fucking wallet. You keener. I can tell you're racking your brain for more enticing questions. Wait, are you guys or girls? Yes! Oh great. A Discord message. Way to ruin it. <laughs> nah, but seriously, I'm pretty much attracted to everything with two feet in a heartbeat. Two feet? Okay. I like bears and beauties. Tall or small, every nook and cranny of I'm just so gosh darn full of love and junk that I can't decide. So, I like to go to the buffet and load up the plate with a little bit of everything. <laughs> I skip over things way too quickly. I'm sorry. <sighs> you know what they say. Talk is cheap, but kisses are free, so feel free to keep chatting. Okay. Hold on, let me just read this for a second. Every nook and cranny of every ethnicity you care to name. Oh, okay. Is this like an open secret? If you're asking me if I'm in the closet, the answer is WHOA! NO! Nah, everyone around here knows the score. Probably because I've tried to score. <laughs> But, in all seriousness, I would be surprised if anyone in town didn't know. I've marched in every pride parade in the state, and have wound up on the news several times for expressing myself. No fucking way! More! 
Ask me your questions. It's a very specific kink I have. I'm surprised. <sighs> I, and I'm still surprised, even... Have I... I think I've heard of it before. Well, this has been educational. <laughs> educational is my favorite personality trait. Which is good, because you are far from the first to use that word to describe me. Oh, cool. So, now that we've got all that out there, and I do mean my penis, I'd love to give you this chance to choose what happens next. Huh. No drama, no broken hearts. This is the part where I open the door and offer you the way out. If I'm not the cup of eggnog you were expecting. The cup of eggnog I was... Uh. We'll still be friends, don't worry. I've had lots of practice with this. What do you say? I'm actually even more in... Even more interested now, if that's possible. Nice! Aw, that's actually a super sweet thing to say! You charming little Nanaimo bar. Oh. My. Gosh. I just noticed where we are! Our little trip has taken us around the block, up several side streets, and... We've somehow managed to find ourselves right outside the mall! What a delicious and tantalizing coincidence! It's as though Fade and politely following your date around town have come together to make something magical happen. <laughs> I said come together. Oh, I didn't hear you. <laughs> what do you say? Wanna come in and play dress up? Little fashion show? There's a few outfits I'd love to slip you into. And out of, if I'm being honest. <laughs> You had me at fashion show. Yes! I knew it! I mean, I had myself at fashion show. So, how could anyone else resist? Follow me! The game is afoot! Let's go. The two of you reach the mall, and Eli excitedly leads you to, the, to a backdoor and labeled employees only. Here we are! The Cheek Boutique for freaks and cliques! <laughs> We've got a little something for everyone, don't you know? Yep. Eli produces a set of keys from somewhere, jangling them around in dramatic fashion for unlocking the door and gesturing for you to enter. Eli leads you through a maze of back hallways, leading to various other stores, and before reaching one labeled called Cheek Boutique. As two of you enter, Eli quickly disarms an alarm and sighs happily. If you'll excuse me, I'd like to slip into something more comfortable first. And by comfortable, I mean less comfortable, because nothing is more comfortable than a sundress. BRB! Okay. Discord, shut up. <laughs> Eli disappears for a while as you look over the racks of clothes hidden in the back. There's nothing that looks... Like it'll particularly fit, and everything is expensive. After a couple of minutes, Eli returns. Hey! Eli comes and Eli comes out in pants and shirt. His makeup is gone, and he's visibly blushing. So yes, this is also Eli. Eli likes to dress up and go with whatever strikes his fancy on any given day. Hmm. Are we cool with Eli? I was hoping you would say that. Okay. All four hearts, so we're good. He steps closer and kisses you. Oh my! <laughs> I totally was not expecting this. He, moved, he quickly moves all my. Oh god. This is my. <laughs> <laughs> His tongue coaxes yours into his mouth, and his own clothes seems to vanish. Ah, sensor. Holy crap. Once you're naked, he... You're... F um... <sighs> Shh. I totally did not expect this. He lowers his knees, starting his tongue. Oh my. God. <laughs> Whew. 
The two of you touch and suck and explore each other until Eli can't hold himself back in the room. Oh. Come. He goes in and pretends to give you the Olympic medal for sex. I really think he assures you. The two of you clean up, kiss, and part ways. His cheeks still blushing. I need a blizzard kiss and leaves. Tea with Eli! Yeah! Whew. <laughs> oh, we're going to go into see Bonnie Bell! Right in the cafe, you immediately spot Bonnie Bell. She leaps from her feet and gives you a hug. Oh, wait. Sonic has seen everything. Oh, yeah. Well, hello there, sugar. Why don't you look like a little old chocolate chip cookie looking for a tall glass of milk? Great, now I'm hungry for Oreos. Bless your heart, darling, for ringing me up. I think my evening plans were mostly vacuuming, so you have officially spared me from a life of boredom and solitude. Hmm. That's cool. This coffee place is the bee's knees, sugar. The gal in here is an artist. You've heard of magic beans? Well, she's the one who makes them that way. Hey, cool. Just keep an eye on her brother. You'll spot him a mile away. Charm a little troublemaker, him. Ah, uh, Dimitri, yeah. Shall we roll out the red carpet and get on with it? Got any objections to coffee and conversation? Given present company, I, I figure I'd have a great time just waiting in line at the bank. Oh, well, aren't you just the kindest little haberdasher this side of the Rockies? You better watch out. Keep up that charming veneer, and you're gonna make this bonbon melt. Melt? Let's go in and rustle up a latte. I wish I had coffee, but no. Hola, aloha, and hello. Welcome to the Queen Bean Coffee House. Oh, Miss Valentine, I love what you have done with your hair. It is like a glorious sunset lighting the ocean waves. No. Oh, sugar, you're a regular bouquet in a bow. I wish I could make cupcakes half as sweet as you. Gracias, Miss Valentine. So, what can I do for you today? The usual? Latte, extra milk, and sugar? And salt the rim, if you would, darling. I'm feeling a dash adventurous today. And for you, friendo? Hmm. I'll have a caramel macchiato with sprinkles. Ooh, maybe that's what I want instead. Make mine just like that, too. Of course, Miss Valentine. Two festive macchiatos coming up. Isn't she such a darling? This place used to be run by a trio of hipsters who liked mixing and matching ingredients and giving them funny names. Hmm. I've got nothing against hipsters or creativity, but one day they offered me something called junk spunk, and I noped out of there on the double. <laughs> uh, well, junk spunk does sound disgusting, so... Point made. Anyway, little Lotus there has been running things for a year now, and everything is hunkadory. Oh, for a year? Oh, cool. Coffee is like kissing. You need it often and by someone who knows how. Don't you agree, sugar? I like my coffee like I like my woman a whole lot. <laughs> well, I can't argue with that sort of sound moral argument, sugar. Though I feel like I've heard that pickup line somewhere before. It's on the tip of my tongue. Hmm. So tell me more about yourself, sweet cheeks. I reckon you're new to town since we've never run into each other before. Either that, or you secretly hate baked goodies, and this relationship is already doomed to failure. <laughs> it's not, what are you talking about? Um... Fear not, my love for pastries is only outdone by my adoration for charming accents and pretty eyes. <laughs> Good gracious, darling. You really like to lay those sweet nothings on thick, huh? 
way, I feel I should stress that I didn't ask you to stop. Why, hello there, Miss Bonbon. As always, it is my great privilege to serve you. How is my favorite customer today? Out in the sunshine where all beautiful girls belong. Ah, oh, Dimitri. How's my little caramel apple doing? I'm doing right as rain during drought season, I'd venture. I am so happy to hear it. Dimitri is good. He is, how do you say, full of life and fire and chocolate covered coffee beans. Chocolate covered covered coffee beans sounds yummy. Dimitri! What are you doing? Ahaha! Lotus, my beautiful sister. I am bringing our dear customers their drinks. Can't you see how thirsty they are? Bonneville's like, oh shit, not again. <laughs> I told you not to bother Miss Valentine on her date. I put the no Dimitri sign on that drink tray for a reason. Until you learn not to flirt so shamelessly with everyone, you stay in the back and make espresso. Oh, that's all right, darling. Dimitri was being a perfect gentleman. Do you see? Even a beastly man like me can clean up and reform his scandalous ways. You are too kind, Miss Valentine. And patient. And sweet. Even to the biggest fools. Well then, deliver the drinks and give him space. Go, go, go! Here you are, my dear friends. If you need anything else, please do not hesitate to summon me. Thank you, darlings. I'm thirsty. Aren't those two just cute as cucumbers? They're so funny. Dimitri just can't help himself from getting under Lotus's skin. I kind of love him. Yeah, I do too. Oh, me too, sugar. Even when they bicker, they have such pretty voices. I could listen to them for hours. So I've been mostly talking your ear off, sweet cheeks. You barely gotten a word in edgewise while I've been clucking up a storm. Cluck, cluck, cluck. I made a New Year's resolution to try and talk a little less when I'm in good company. And seeing as it's summertime and I haven't started yet, it's not looking good. So, feel free to ask me whatever's on your mind. I'm an open book with a fancy bookmark ribbon. Ask every question so you're full time bigger. That's a sweet job. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. <laughs> oh, darling, bless your heart. I hear that joke every waking day of my life. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I love it so much, sugar. I get to bake up a storm every day, which fills me with the honey glow, something fierce. Everyone who comes into my shop is so kind and friendly. It's hard being a grouch when you're surrounded by a million calories of colorful acid. And every so often, a stranger wanders in who catches my eye. I might toss a bit of flour on the girls to get their attention. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just fooling. I can't waste an ounce of flour. It is not in my nature. If there's a light dusting on the girls, it is purely accidental, I swear. Mmm, mm, I just got to the part of the drink where all the sugar sinks to. That's a little slice of heaven. My cookies always come out a bit foamy, bubbly. Bubbly? It's hard to describe any ideas. Bless my butter tarts, sugar. That's the kind of question a gal like me dreams about hearing on a first date. <laughs> I know exactly what the problem is. Bubbles mean you've got too much egg in the mix, darling. Either you're putting one too many in for good measure, or your eggs are too big. Scale them back, or take a yolk out. That'll fix it right up. You know what? Note for when I make cookies myself. <laughs> now you got me thinking about cookies, sugar. You certainly guessed the weight of this gal's heart. I guess I do. Oh my, look at me gabbing on. See what happens, sugar? You give me an inch and I take a few country acres. I've only been here a short time, but this town is giving me mixed vibes. Like it's fun. 
but it's also kind of, you know. Hmm. Well, I don't know if I know what you mean, sugar. Well, hold on, actually. To be fair, Subrosa has had its fair share of grim headlines and such. The difference between here on the shore front and downtown is about as night and day as it gets. Just last week, someone was shot and killed. Poor soul was found in a dumpster of all places. Police think it's drug related. Anyway, that sort of thing is the exception around here. Hopefully they'll catch whoever's responsible and that'll be that. Oh, excuse me, I got distracted. Lotus is putting out the fresh cookies, and I like scoping out the competition. <clears throat> uh, forgot to cheers. Here's a good company and great coffee. Coffee. Here's a good coffee and great company. Shit! Oh, cheers, darling. All right, sugar. I've got a few questions for you. Nothing too prime, just a little test of character I like to throw into the mix on a first date. Feel free to pass on them, but just... No, you are being judged. <laughs> <clears throat> First question. What's the best way to measure flour for a recipe? Stainless steel measuring cups or a scale? I use my hands. My cookies suck. <laughs> oh, darling. I do declare. You're a peach who knows just how to tickle my funny bone. You failed that question, but you're definitely getting a consolation prize. Cool. Question number two. What is the proper way to cuss someone out? Do you say, bless your heart, or you're as sharp as a throw pillow? I know, if it's bless your heart, I have been grossly misinterpreting how my friends in Kentucky feel about me. Why Kentucky of all places? <laughs> oh, darling. Oh, you're just 50 shades of delightful. All right, last question, sugar. If a gal in a corset comes moseying up to you, what is the good and proper way to address her ample bosom, which she obviously puts so much effort into? Swap for ten. All right, cool. I'd say thank goodness for those eyes. Oh, well, sugar, that's just... That's just perfect. Ooh. Beg your pardon, what were we talking about? I think I got a bit distracted there. Huh. Oh, sugar, that's me. I've got to get back to the bakery and get a cake in the oven. Unfortunately, it doesn't work just turning the heat up to cook them faster. Mm. Darling, the time just flew by. I had such a wonderful time. I'd sure love to get together again and do a little dinner and dancing. Are you busy next week? Oh, we're good. My calendar just suddenly cleared, just suddenly cleared completely. Wonderful, sugar. I can't wait. Thanks for being a sweetheart. I'm looking forward to Return of the Favor. Cool. Don't be a stranger now. After a while, crocodile. Yay! <sighs> Alright, so that's enough of Hush Hush. I don't know if my face has been in the, vid in the camera for the whole thing. But who cares? I had fun. <laughs> but um, yeah, thank you everybody so much for watching. Like if you're new, subscribe. Like. I'm messing up my outro. Like, subscribe, and share. Discord, shut up. And goodbye. I, I don't know. <laughs>